All right, guys, we're building up an audience right now. The 90-day run has started. This is our, the first week. We launched on February 13th, so now it's three days into the 90-day run, guys. Let's build up the audience right now. Let's wait for some people to join. Share this Facebook Live with any friends you have in network marketing industry, MLM, uh, any friends you have, um, and maybe any type of sales organizations, any type of sales business, share this Facebook Live on your pages so that way you can get as many people, many of your friends who are involved in our, in our industry on this Facebook Live because I'm gonna do a good teaching and training for you guys right now, okay? So let's build it up. We got Martin Lauren out there from Germany. What's up, Martin? Good to see you out here. Let's see who else we got on here. Which countries are you guys tuning in from today? I know you guys are all doing the 90 day run, so which countries are you guys coming in? Raphael, see you there. Okay, cool, our audience is building, guys. Share this. What's up, Veronica? How you doing? Glad you're on here. All right, guys, this is the way that I could talk to, to masses of people every single day. So these Facebook Lives are built for you. It's kind of like we're having a one-on-one -on -one training here but you can get everybody involved. And if you have big teams, get them involved too. We got Vancouver, BC. What's up, Steve? Thanks for joining, brother. Share this uh, Facebook Live on your pages so as many people as you can can tune in. All right, it's important. Let's build up the audience now. What's up, Germany? You got uh, San Diego in the house. What's up, Tomek? Again, from Poland. Glad to see you on here. All right, guys. So Tony from Ireland. What's up, brother? Giovanna Suma from Italy. Hey, Monica. What's up? Lima, Peru in the house. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, good, good. So we got a ton of countries on the, on, the, on the live already. Germany, Yassine, I see you on there. Okay, guys, so today <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys about the, saying the right things to, to new prospects, okay, guys? So, um, you know, and after I'm done with the Facebook Live, at the last few minutes I'll let you guys ask some questions and I'll answer a few for you guys so we can get a little bit of interaction. We got Eric Fisher on here. What's up, brother? Winter Games Olympic athlete right there, guys. Eric Fisher, good to see you on here, brother. Glad you're on here. Okay, so remember, this 90-day run is for everybody. It doesn't matter what company you are in, what products you, or services that you go out there and sell. Let's build up the industry. I want to help everybody. I obviously want to help my team grow, but how about it? wouldn't it be great if we can help everybody's teams from every company and every organization grow? We can grow the name of our business. People are going to be flocking to network marketing companies because of what we're doing for the industry. There's no other industry like it. There's no other profession where somebody's going to want to try to give their tips and secrets away so other people can succeed. Only in this inside this industry. South Africa in the house. Okay, good. So today, obviously, is day three of the 90-day run. I hope you guys have, are out of the gates quick in a full sprint right now. It's at the very beginning of your race. Now, I know that when you're out there prospecting, what you should have already been doing was getting new prospects excited about a 90-day run. Maybe have mentioned to them a few things about it. But some of you have this huge candidate list of people to talk to, but you don't know what to say. It's like you have analysis of paralysis. Like you, you, you have the people right in front of you but the words just can't come out of your mouth. And I understand that feeling because I've had that situation happen to me too plenty of times in my business. You know, I've been in front of people for two hours at a party or at a, at a restaurant thinking, okay, when can I talk to them about my business? And, and the words never came out and then I leave them thinking, okay, I'll talk to them next time and it never happens. Well, that, that doesn't have to be the case for you guys, okay? So you have to know the right things to say. You know, and, the, and um, what you can do is if you want to, you can go to the90daysrun.com and you could go click on the tools bar. I added a, a tools bar to the website now. So you can click on the tools bar here. And when you click on tools, I have a couple different tools. I got the GoPro memory jogger in there so that way you can build your list. But what I also have in there are the recruiting scripts in there, okay? So you know what to say. You know what to say to prospects, all right? So if you know what to say, you can go here, you can download it straight to your computer. There it is, there's the scripts and you can go through all the scripts are in there for you guys, okay? But basically, um, what, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have prospects sitting in front of you guys, right? And you're gonna, have, you're gonna be interacting with people every single day in your cold market or your warm market. First, let's define what your warm market is, okay? Your warm market are all those people you've already had a relationship with, your friends, your family, people that are close to you, people that, uh, you, know, that, you, that you see in a on a regular everyday basis or you talk to every single day. Those are your closest friends, that's your warm market. The uh, the cold market are the people who you, you, you're not really acquainted with. People you might just meet today or people that you might work with but you don't associate with them really. You don't hang out with them on the weekends, okay? Um, that's your cold market. Just new people, you, don't, you haven't warmed up the relationship with them yet, okay? Cold market and warm market, okay? When you have those two different types of markets, there's different things to say. You have to understand the approach, what, uh, the types of things to say to them. But also, you have to really 
you have to really uh, operate understanding the principle of really understanding how to invite. And I learned this from the book GoPro by Eric Worre. Okay, that, that book has changed the face of my business worldwide. But in there, there's a chapter where he talks about the invitation, okay? And he says, you know, there are seven or eight parts to an invitation. Um, and the first part is simply to be in a hurry, okay? Then you have to compliment the prospect. That's the second part. And then the third part is, the third part is give the invitation, okay? And that, that's really what it's about, right? And then, um, so, so really, you have to understand how, how that works, okay? And the first part is just simply being in a hurry. And if you look at on this recruiting scripts, go to the90dayrun.com, click on tools, and then go and, down, and open up the recruiting scripts. In there, I give you examples on all the things that you could say to somebody. It talks about the eight steps of the invitation, and then it gives you the scripts from step one, and you could simply just start to practice this on your prospects. Who cares about going out there and messing up? You're gonna mess up a million and one things in your life, but that's how you get better. You only get better from failing forward, okay? So that's what it's about. You gotta go out there and practice. If you do nothing, you'll never have any practice and you'll never become successful at all in anything in your life. Have you guys ever read the book Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell? If you haven't, you should get that book and read the chapter about on 10,000 hours. And he talks about before you become a professional in anything, you have to put your 10,000 hours of practice in. It's after 10,000 hours that you can actually look at your results and say, these are the results I should be getting. But until you put your 10,000 hours in, don't expect anything significant to come in your life in terms of success. I've been in the industry for 10 years. I've put well more than 10,000 hours in. That's why I can only expect success from this moment on. All right, guys? So again, what's up, Gabe? I'm glad you're out there from the ATL. You're on now. So hey, guys, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to share this Facebook Live, okay? Share this Facebook Live with your... Uh, let me get out of this real quick. Share this Facebook Live with your friends. Uh, share this freak, uh, Facebook Live with as many people as you can to get them on here right now, right? So check it out. So if you guys are doing the 90 run, put a number one right now. Type in a number one on this Facebook Live. Let everyone see you guys that, who's, who's running, all right? We got UK in the house. What's up? Kam Mustafa, glad you're on here. Put a number one so everybody can see it on there. All right, guys, so check it out. There are different steps to the 90 day run. Okay, so first, or to, the, to, the, uh, to prospecting. So the first thing is you wanna be in a hurry, okay? Why do you wanna be in a hurry? Because when you're in a hurry, that's attractive to people, okay? When you're in a hurry, that's attractive. People are attracted to other people who are in a hurry, other people who are busy, other people who have things going on. That makes, that makes the person on the other side feel like this person must be important. He's in a hurry, he's got stuff to do. I don't have anything like that going on in my life. So they're attracted to the person that's in the hurry because they feel like, wow, this person must have something that I need, okay? Be in a hurry, make it seem urgent, you know? And then, um, and so when you're in a hurry, it's simple, okay? Um, uh, there, there are a few different things to say. When you're talking to the warm prospects, okay, and you're in a hurry, it's simple. You could say, you know, you could start the conversation like this and it takes three or four seconds. I don't have a lot of time to talk, but it was really important I reach you. You could start it that way. Or you could say, I have a million things going on, but I, I'm glad I caught you real quick. Or you could say, I'm running out the door, but I need to talk to you real quick. That's how you start this conversation. You're calling someone you know. If it's someone you maybe have just met, and maybe you met them at a restaurant, or they're at a car wash, or you're running errands, or you've just met them at your kid's baseball game, you could say, now isn't the time to get into this. I have to go, but. Or you could say, I have to run right now, but. And that's how you start it. That's how you open it up. You're in a hurry. You're just showing that you're in a hurry. And then you're setting the tone with some urgency. That's really all you're doing. And then you get to the second part of, of this, okay? And it's just complimenting that person, complimenting the prospect, okay? And a sincere compliment goes a long way because now it opens up the prospect to listening to what you have to say. And now they're more willing to receive whatever it is you're going to give them, okay? So when you compliment them, it kind of builds them up and it opens them up for you guys, all right? What's up, Arzu? Good to see you on here. Okay, so you're gonna compliment the prospect, and, and if you're talking to a warm prospect, it's really, really simple. You could say, you know, you've always been so supportive of me, and I appreciate that so much. Or you could say, you've been wildly successful, and I've always respected the way you've done business. Or you could say, you're one of the most connected people I know, and I've always admired that about you. How about this one? You're the, you're the most important person in my life, and I really trust your instincts. There are many things you could say. You have an amazing mind for business and you can always see things that other people can't. That's a good one, right? I was thinking, who are the sharpest people I know and I thought of you, right? Or you're one of the most positive and energetic people I know. Some people are very close-minded, which limits their opportunities, but I've always admired the fact that you're open to looking at new things. 
So all you're doing is complimenting them, right? I need, and you might have a skeptical friend, right? All of us have those skeptical people in our life. So you can, op you can compliment them in this way and you kind of like just give the power to them. I need someone to find holes in something I'm looking at and absolutely nothing gets past you. Okay, there's one, right? You're one of the most health conscious people or technolo te technological savvy people or fashion or beauty conscious people or wellness minded people or financially intelligent people I've ever known and I've always respected that about you, okay? That right there could fit for every network marketing company, even including every single service, okay guys? That's simple. You're one of the smartest people I know and I really trust your judgment. For as long as I've known you, I have thought you were the best at what you, what you do. There you go. Now you just complimented someone who's in your warm market, okay? But what about those people that are in your cold market? Maybe those people that you just met, the, the server at the restaurant, the person who washed your car, someone who's given you great service, right? You, it's so simple. You've given us some of the best service we've ever received. There's a good one. Or you could say, you could be talking to someone as you're waiting for your car to get washed or as you're waiting for a service to be done and so the person sitting next to you is waiting for the same service and as you're, after you're done talking to them and started a conversation, just a normal conversation with them, you could say, hey, you're super sharp. Can I ask what you do for a living? Or you could say, you could tell the person who, who, uh, who's giving you a service, you know, you've made this such a fantastic experience for me. Or you could say, you're an outgoing person and I admire that. That's it. It's the cold market. You're complimenting them, okay? And you guys can get creative and say whatever things. But remember, practice makes perfect. Whatever you see that's working, keep doing it, okay? The key to this is the compliment and make sure it's sincere. Find something you can compliment your prospect on and do it. That's really all you need to do. Okay, so there's the second part. So first, you're in a hurry. You complimented the prospect. That should take you like six or seven seconds right away. And then the third part, making the invitation, okay guys? Step three, make the invitation, okay? And in this situation, one size does not fit all. There's a list of different approaches that you can use that, that are in this, the scripts that you can download on the90dayrun.com. Click on tools, download the scripts on there, okay? But there are different approaches that you can use and depending on the type of person or the prospect you're talking to, you're gonna have to pick one of, the, one of these approaches, okay? There are three different types of approaches. There's the direct approach, there's the indirect approach, and there's the super indirect approach. So let's start with the direct approach, okay? And it's really, really simple. And uh, remember, you've already done step one and two, okay? So now this is step three. So if you're talking to the warm market, the direct approach is just getting straight to the point. You're just very direct on what you found or what company you have or what product you have or what service you're, you have that you have to offer. You're being direct with the person. Why? Because they're your warm market, you have a relationship with them. It's very easy. What's up, Heather out there from Texas? Good to have you on, all right? So look at the direct approach, okay, for your warm market. You could say, hey, when you told me that you needed to make more money, you said you, were, you needed to find an, another income stream. Were you serious about that when you, when you told me that? And if they say, yes, I was, Calvin, then I would say, okay, great, I need to show you something today. Or you could say, hey, when you told me you, were gonna take, you wanted to take your health to the next level this year, were you serious when you told me about that? Of course I was. I'm, I'm very serious. I still am serious. Okay, great. I have something I need to show you today. All right, so you could say, I have something to show you today. It's gonna help you with that. And you could say, you know, it's, 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 it's just, it's the simplest thing, right? You could say, I, I think I found a way for us to really boost our cash flow. Or I found something you really need to see. Right? It's so simple. I'm launching a new business and I really want you to take a look at it. And that's, all, that's really all you have to do, okay? Uh, when I thought of the people who could make an absolute fortune with a business, I found, I thought of you. Or you could say, I, I teamed up with a company that's opening and expanding in your area. Okay, let me ask you something. Would you be open to diversifying your income? When I thought of quality people that I really enjoy working with, I thought of you. Would you be open to hearing what I'm doing? Let me ask you a question off the record. If there were a business you could start working part-time from your home that could eventually replace your full-time income, would that interest you? As you know, I, I, I've been you know, in the direct sales business, health and wellness products, but because of you know, or, or you know, you could sit, you could talk about your current business. So I, when I was in real estate, you know, you know, and I've been involved in real estate and mortgage banking, but because of the downside in the economy, things aren't really picking up as fast as they were before. I'm not making as, as much money as I did before. So I decided to diversify my income and make it just a, a, a simple career change. After considering my options, I've identified the very best way to make it happen. I want to talk to you about it. Simple. Okay. I found an exciting business and together I think we could do something big. So it's just direct. You're being very direct with, with people, okay? It's as simple as that, right? Um, you, you can just say, hey, I found an incredible way for us to make some cash. I need to come talk to you about it. Just be, be direct with them. 
That, that's easy, okay? You don't have, most people are stuck. They don't know what to say. Here it is. I'm giving you the, the answers right now, okay? For people that are in your cold market, it's simple. If you met that server or you met that person giving you a service or you met that, person, that parent at a baseball game or the teacher at the school, it doesn't matter. As you start to talk to them, you don't really have a, a strong relationship with them, but you could just say, hey, after being in a hurry and complimenting them, you could say something simple that's direct saying, have you ever thought of diversifying your income? Do you keep your career options open? Right? Do you plan on doing what you're doing now for the rest of your career? Those are three simple direct ways just to talk to someone new, just to make them think real quick, okay? We got Prashant here from India joining. Great. Okay, make sure to share this Facebook Live with people, right guys? So, so you, you, could, you could follow any of these cold market scripts or a variation of the following. You know, I have something that might interest you. Now's not the time to get into it, but, you know, just something simple, okay? So now look at here's the next one, okay? So that was direct, okay? Here's being indirect, okay? So this is, this is indirect, and this approach is it's another powerful tool helping people get past their initial resistance because for people who are brand new, who might, um, uh, you know, who might be a little scared to go out there and, and start because they've never had experience in building a business at all, maybe they're a little self-conscious, they're not really, um, you know, they, they don't really feel that much about, that much of themselves in terms of being successful, so they might be a little resistant, then use the indirect approach, okay? All that is is really just asking someone for help. And it's simple. You could say, hey, you know, I just started a new business and I'm scared to death. You know, before I get going, I need to practice on someone friendly. Would you mind if I practice on you? Simple. Okay. Got turkey in the house. Good. Funda, good to see you. I'm thinking about getting started with a business I can run for my home. Would you help, help me check it out and see if it's for real? All you're doing is asking them for help, but indirectly, they're going to see the business. You get it? Here's one. I found a business I'm really excited about, but what do I know? You have so much experience. Would you look at it for me if I made it easy and let me know if, if you think I'm making the right move or just give me some feedback, right? A friend told me the best thing I could do when starting a business is to have people I respect take a look and, and give me some guidance. Would you be willing to do that for me if I made it simple for you? Just in a few uh, simple steps, I'd really appreciate that. Just that, you're indirectly giving someone the opportunity to look at your business, your service, whatever it is, your products, and it's so simple, right? And it's the scripts. It's just practicing these things and just learning it. Spend some time memorizing some of these things and just go out there and practice. Who cares whether they receive it well or not? Just the fact is that you're doing it and you're getting better. Practice makes perfect, right? And like I said, for negative or cynical people, you know, I started a business and really need someone to help me poke holes in it. Nothing gets past you. Would you be willing to examine it for me? There's for your negative person, right? And you might, and then if you have anybody in the cold market, uh, I found this approach doesn't really work well because it doesn't really make sense for you to show, it, to, to sh show people in the, in the cold market or to ask, some, ask someone for help that you just met because you really don't know them at all, right? So it doesn't really work for the cold market. But here's the next approach. It's called super indirect, okay? And this approach is meant for those people who are on your chicken list, people you might be afraid to talk to, or even people who might be more successful than you. So you might think that, oh, they're too busy, they own their business, they make enough money. That's what you think. But the reality is, the reason why they're successful, the reason why they're so busy, the reason they make money is because they're open-minded. They're open to business opportunities. They understand what work ethic is. They understand what hard work is. So those are the people you really should talk to. So this is incredibly powerful and it plays on a number of psychological levels, but this is a network marketing approach that asks the prospect if they know someone else that might benefit from your business. And I use this approach all the time with great success. I've had some of my biggest wins in this business because of approaching people in this way, okay? So that's it. Don't worry about the outcome, whether someone joins or not. Remember, don't become emotionally attached to the outcome of what happens uh, with, with you going out there and speaking to a prospect and trying to share with them your business. Don't become emotionally attached. Remember, your goal is not to sign the person up right now. Your goal is to simply educate the prospect, share with them a few things because your next goal is to follow up and then give them, move them to the next exposure. And then your next goal is to follow up and move them to the next exposure. All you're trying to do is open it up to them receiving something and the rest is history. The rest is you just leveraging the tools your company already offers you to expose and expose and expose until they join. Simple as that. I'm just teaching you the part you're scared of right now. This is the part that you have to focus on. The rest is already done for you through the tools your company provides you, okay? So look at, here's the indirect approach, okay? This business I'm in clearly isn't for you, but I wanted to ask, who do you know that's ambitious, money motivated, and would be excited about the idea of adding more cash flow to their lives, okay? You might not have to say, 
this business clearly, clearly isn't for you, but you could say, this business isn't for you because I know you have your own business or you have your own thing going on. But I wanted to ask you, who do you know that's ambitious, money, motiv money motivated, and interested in, in, in adding some additional cash flow to their life? You know, of course, they might say, well, I know a couple people you could talk to, but indirectly, super indirectly, they might be thinking, well, that's me, of course, you know? Or you might say, who do you know that might be looking for a strong business they can run from their home? They might be able to give you a few people now, right? They're successful people. They know people. Or they might say, well, tell me a little bit about it, Calvin. Or you might say, hey, you know, this business, of, uh, you know, I know that you, have, you spend a lot of time building your own business right now. And I know you're really busy because, you, because you're super successful. But who do you know that has hit a wall with their business and might be looking for a way to diversify their income? Who do you know has hit a wall with their business and might be looking for a company that's really hot right now and breaking records worldwide? Who do you know right now that might be looking for a business that they can build here locally on their own time, but watch it spread globally and pay them 24 hours a day? Who do you know, right? They're thinking, well, I know people, but I know me, right? Do you know any sharp people who live in Atlanta? They're going to say, yes, of course. Great. Could I get their name and email address if you have it? I have a business that's expanding in the Atlanta area, and I want to see if they think it will be successful there. I want to get their opinion and feedback if you can give me that. Give me a couple names, right? Do you know, any, do you know anyone involved in a serious job search right now? Do okay, you know anybody who would be interested in starting a business, might not have a lot of capital to start a traditional business, but they might have, they're looking to start a business and, and if someone can show them a way to start up for a little cost that I could talk to them, you know, just something like that. You know, I work with a company that's expanding in our area and I'm looking for some sharp people that might be interested in some additional cash flow. Do you know, any, do you know anyone who might fit that description? It's a super indirect approach, guys. What's up, Matthias from Germany? He's on. Man, nine hours ahead over there, Matthias. Good job, man. Thanks for getting on, okay? So... You know, in most cases, these people are going to ask you for more information before they give you any names of their contacts or anything, you know, but they're not going to, and they, and they might be curious about the business themselves. They're not, they're not really not going to admit that yet. But when they ask you for more information first, just respond like this. That makes sense. You'll want to know more about it before you refer some of your contacts and then you move to the next step. Okay. It's, it's, it's very, 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 very simple. You guys. And then the next step is just sharing the tools. So if they say, Hey, I do know some people, but I need to know. You know, I need to know a little bit more about it before I start giving you my friend's numbers. Okay, great. No, no, no problem. If I sent you a video, would you be willing to take five minutes of your time to watch it? And then you'll know what I'm going to send your friends, right? If I, you know, if I, if, if, if you don't mind, I could, if I could take you to coffee for 15 minutes, I'd love to show it to you so you could see what I'm going to be showing your friends. Like, it's simple. That's all you have to do, you guys, right? So that's it. So step number four, right? So now you've, you're in a hurry, complimented the prospect, made the invitation now. Now, step four, if I would you, okay? Now all you do is just insert the tool your companies have given you. I know with my company, we have videos, we have incredible products, we have webinars, we have webcasts, we have conference calls, we have PowerPoint presentations we can download. I mean, we have amazing marketing tools like insert a tool, that's it. If I would you, if I sent you a video that would take five minutes of your time, would you be willing to watch it tonight? If I sent you a link to a 15 minute webinar that explains you everything that I, that I wanna share with you, but in 15 simple minutes, uh, would you be willing to take a look at it? Okay. Hey, if I drop by and shared with you a couple of our products, I'd love for you to try them out for a couple of days. Would you be willing to do that? Like simple, just if I would you, and guess what? That's all you have to do. You know, if I gave you a, a, a video link that laid out all the information in a professional way, would you watch it? If I gave you a website link that described the business, would you listen to it? If I gave you a magazine or any type of printed tool, would you read it? If I gave you a link to an online presentation, that explained everything, would you click on it and watch it? If I gave you a sample to try, would you use it and check out a product video? Oh my gosh, so freaking easy, you know? So if I gave you a 15-day a uh, free membership subscription to the service our company offers, would you be willing to take a look at it and try it out? Like, what is it? It's so easy, you guys, and that's all you really have to do, okay? So the90dayrun.com, click on tools, download the scripts. It's right there for you guys, and start using it. Change your life, okay, guys? Uh, so go, go on to there. The tools are on there, okay? And as I start putting more tools, I'll start doing more Facebook Lives and showing you how to use these things, but it's simple, okay? So if you've done the first three steps properly, then guess what? The answer will always be yes, okay? When you start doing it properly, you're not going to do it right at first, but it, you'll get better, but practice makes perfect. Perfect. Your focus is at 10,000 hours, okay? If they ask you for more information first, just respond like this, okay? I understand that you want more information, but all of what you're looking for is on my website, my video link or in my brochure. The fastest way for you to really understand what I'm talking about will be to review that material. So if I gave it to you, would you review it? That's it, simple, they want more information, 
Give it to them. It's so easy, okay? You don't need to spend all your time talking. The talkers finish last, okay? Let the tools do the talking. They need to see something that duplicates, okay? When you talking, if you're really good, it's gonna work, but it will never duplicate. In this industry, it's not about what works. It's about what duplicates, okay? If they say no, they won't review it, then you can just thank them for their time and move on. That's it, it's real life here, okay guys? Also, review steps one to three that I talked to you guys about to see what you could have done better. Whenever the answer is no and whenever they're negative, just go back and review what you did steps one through three and fix it. What could I have done better with that person? And learn for it and be excited because guess what? You're putting the time in guys and that's all it's about, okay? Do not give up on them still, okay? You had the cookie, but they have to be deserving of it. So again, do not be desperate. Let the tool do the talking, right? And then guess what? Once they finally do respond with, yes, I'd, be, I'd love to, uh, to get that link and watch the video. Yes, text it to me right now. Yes, I'll check my email later. Okay, simple. Um, yes, I'll review the material. Yes, I'd love to try that service out. Great. Get a time commitment from them. Step five, okay? When do you think you could watch the website link for sure? When do you think you could listen to the video link for sure? When do you think you could read the brochure for sure? When do you think you could look through the material I gave you for sure? Okay? When do you think you can go to the site and check it out? Simple. You don't need to suggest the time for them. Ask the question and have them give you the time. If it's not definitive, they'll say, I'll, I'll try to do it sometime, then tell them this. I don't want to waste your time or mine, so why don't we just try to lock in a time when you have seen it for sure? That's it. I don't want to waste your time or mine, so why don't we just lock in a time right now when you think you've seen it for sure? Simple as that, okay? The key is to, get, is to get them to say yes a second time. They said yes to receiving the video, to looking over materials. If I would you, they said yes. Now you're getting a time commitment. You want them to say yes again, okay? Saying yes to step four is not a commitment. Just because they said yes to if I would you. Saying yes to step five and then giving you a time is their actual commitment, okay guys? So if they say they'll watch the video link by Tuesday night, your response should be, okay, so if I call you Wednesday morning, you'll have seen it for sure, right? If they say they'll view the website link by Thursday morning, your response should be, so if I called you sometime on Thursday, you'll have viewed the website for sure, right? Or if they say they'll check out the brochure the, or the magazine by July 1st, your response should be, so if I called you on the 2nd, you'll have checked out the brochure for sure, right? Or you'll have checked out the magazine for sure, right? So the key is to step six is they now said, they've now said yes three times, that they've now said three times that they'll Follow through and they've done it all by themselves now, okay? They've set a real appointment with you for the future. That's it, right? Step six is to confirm their action step. Step five, obviously, was to get the time commitment, right? When do you think you can watch it? They give you the time or the day or the date and then you confirm the action step saying, okay, so if I called you Wednesday morning, you'll have seen it, right? If I called you on the second, you'll have checked out the magazine or brochure, right? That's the, now they've said, it's simple, right? They've said yes now three times to you and confirmed and set a real appointment with you for the future. Now, all you do is simple, okay? Don't keep talking, because I know some people love to talk, all right? Finish with this, okay? Is Tuesday night at six or seven better for you? So simple, okay? When you follow up, you get, now you get that time commitment now, and you confirm it, okay? Through step seven, confirm the follow-up. Okay, great, they say, yeah, six o'clock is perfect for me. Okay, great, what's the best number and time for me to call you? Now they've said yes four times, and the chances they'll follow through has increased from less than 10% to over 80% in those last four steps, okay? So you gotta put the appointment in a place you won't forget. If you set up the, the appointment, they've confirmed and confirmed and confirmed and given you the number to call them at, now you can't forget. If you forget, you lose now, okay? So you have to remember that. So put this appointment in the right place, put it in your calendar, fill this thing up with appointments, follow-ups, follow-throughs, and everything, okay guys? And then step eight, guess what it is? Get off the freaking phone. Get out of their face, okay? Remember, you're in a hurry, right? So if you're in a hurry at the beginning of that, 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 that quick five-sentence conversation, why are you gonna stay on the phone for them now? Now the sense of urgency is gone, okay? The best thing to do is say something like this. Great, we'll talk then. Be on the lookout for my email or text. Thanks, gotta run. So simple, then you're done, okay? Those are the eight steps, okay, with the scripts, okay? Now let's put it all together by, by showing you maybe some examples. Let me, let me show you some examples, okay? So here's an example of, of maybe one. Hey, here we go, you're on the phone, right? Hey, I don't have a lot of time to talk, but it was really important I reached you, okay? This is a person that you know that hates their job and you're gonna use the direct approach, okay? So this is, this is it, guys. Hey, I don't have a lot of time to talk, but it was really important I reached you, right? That was, you're in a hurry. Listen, you're one of the most financially intelligent people I know and I've always respected that about you. Inserted the compliment. Then check this out. When you told me you really didn't like your job, were you serious or were you just kidding around? 
Great, I think I found a way for you to create an exit strategy without jeopardizing your family. Now you've inserted that direct approach that you've chosen, right? And then simply, it's this, okay? So it's, it's this, right? So then um, I have a website link you have to check out. It describes what I'm talking about better than I can. If I gave you a website link, would you check it out? Okay, when do you think you could check it out? Tuesday? So if I called you Wednesday morning, you overviewed it for sure, right? All right, I'll check back with you then. What's the best number and time for me to call? Great, we'll talk then, gotta run, thanks. So simple, okay, that's that one, okay? But what if you have a good friend and you wanna use the indirect approach, like you wanna ask them for help, okay? Simple, hey, I'm running out the door but needed to talk to you real quick. Or you could say, you've always been so supportive of me and I, so, so really, obviously you're at, this is the indirect approach, you're talking to a friend. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm running out the door but I need to talk to you real quick. You've always been so supportive of me and I appreciate that so much. I just started a new business and I'm scared to death. Before I get going, I need to practice on someone friendly. Would you mind if I practice on you later? Great. If I give you a link to a video that laid out the information in a professional way, would you watch it? When do you think you could watch it? Okay, great. Thursday? So if I called you Friday morning, you'll have, you'll have watched it for sure, right? Fantastic. What's the best number I should call you at? Oh, your cell? Okay, I'll call you on your cell phone. Great. We'll talk then. Gotta run. Thanks. Simple as that. All right. So that's right. Renita is an art, okay? And it gets simpler and simpler as you practice. At first, you're going to feel like a robot, but who cares? You're practicing. You can always make it up later. Don't worry. The fact is that you're doing it, right? Remember, the 90-day run is about taking massive action. You're doing things that you aren't doing regularly, and you're doing it times 10, so do it, okay? Here's another example. This is to a highly successful person using the indirect approach, okay? Someone who's highly successful. Hey, I know you're busy, and I have a million things going on, too, but I'm glad I caught you, right? You, you, the, I think this one's the, the super indirect approach, okay? I know you're busy and I have a million things going on, but I'm glad I caught you. You've been wildly successful and I always respected that way you've done business. I've been recently started a new business and I'm looking for some sharp people. It's clearly not for you, but I wanted to ask you, who do you know that's ambitious, money motivated, and would be excited about the idea of adding more cash flow to their lives? I understand that you'd want more information uh, before you recommended me people. I have a video link that explains exactly what I'm doing and the kind of people I'm looking for. It's very, very brief, I promise you. If I sent you the link, would you view it? I know you're extremely business. And I'm, I, I know you're extremely busy, and, I, and I'm I'm so grateful for your help. Thanks for agreeing to look at it. When do you think you can view it? Okay, cool. So if I called you after that, you'll review it for sure, right? All right, I'll check back with you then. What's the best number and time for me to call you? Thank you so much. Again, I appreciate it. Thanks again. I appreciate it so much. I'll talk to you then. Okay, bye. There's one right there. All right. And then what about the cold market? Those people you just meet. You know, I love cold market people because they don't know anything about me. I don't know anything about them, but because I'm in a hurry, they think I'm somebody. That's the best part, okay? So check it out. Here's a cold market prospect, okay? So now isn't the time to get into it. I have to go, but you are super sharp, okay? And I happen to be looking for some sharp people. Do you plan on doing what you're doing for the rest of your career? No? Okay, good. I have something you might, that might interest you. Now is not the time to get into it, but I have a video link that explains it in great detail. If I gave it to you, would you watch it? When do you think you can watch it? Okay, so if I called you after that, you'll reviewed it for sure, right? You'll watch it for sure, right? All right, I'll check back with you then. What's the best uh, way that I can contact you? Just to follow up. Okay, here it is. Thanks again for the excellent service, and I'll talk to you soon. There's one right there, guys. Okay, so those are just some examples, right? Uh, those are examples of, of the scripts. So I put my the scripts on there, the 90dayrun.com. You can check it out, guys, but you guys got to get good at practicing this stuff, okay? Practicing just talking to the people. Remember, the business is really, really easy, guys, because most people spend their time um, scared about showing the presentation or showing the plan or doing the meeting or what do, how do I get, share the product with somebody or how do I sign them up? Like That's the easiest stuff, guys. Okay, That is the easiest stuff. The most difficult part is getting out of your own way and talking to people. The most difficult part is going out and making new friends. Get out of your house and stop being a hobbit and go to, go to a sports game, go to a restaurant, go to your friend's house, go to a birthday party, go to your kid's school. I mean, get out there and make, meet your neighbors, okay? Go to church, do something, meet people. And then from there, guess what? Then you're going to do your job and your job is just simply learning how to invite someone to see what you have. Learning how to invite people to see your business, invite people to try your products, invite people to use your products, right? And they're, it's found in the scripts. It's those seven different steps, right? Seven different steps. Be in a hurry. Compliment the prospect. Make the invitation. If I would you, get a time commitment. Confirm their action steps, right? 
get time and the number and then confirm the follow-up. And then step eight, get off the freaking phone, okay? That's it, guys. So, okay, guys, so those are the scripts. So that's, that's what you guys can focus on. I'm help, trying to help you guys out with your 90-day run. All out massive action, guys. I'll spend the last couple minutes right now maybe answering a couple questions if you have it. I'd love to answer those for you if you guys have it. Fire away if any of you guys have any questions. I'm going to have to pick these questions out at random, so I apologize as they come in. So anybody have any questions? If not, we can end this one. That's right, Renita, right? Get off the freaking phone. Most people are out there just... They do the right things at first, but then they talk themselves right out of the freaking, the deal there. The person was interested in what you had because you're in a hurry. They love that they're curious about what it is and you talk their freaking ears off. So don't do that, right? Get off the phone, get out of the way, get out of there. Scoops, get out of whatever, get the heck out. That's what it's about. So, all right guys, doesn't look like there's really any questions coming. Oh, how do you balance your time from family? I wish I can read this. Maybe the other part is probably and business, okay? Thanks, Stefania. I love you too. Stefania's out there, one of the hardest working women in our business. If you guys are going to the most powerful women in uh, network marketing event, March 1st, 2nd, it's in Las Vegas. Check out Stefania Logato. She's going to rock the house out there in Vegas, girls. So if any of you guys are out there, I know there's plenty of guys that go there too. Some of these women are the best people to learn from the business. She's a freaking rock star in our industry, you guys. But okay, so Derek said, how do you balance family and business? It's simple. I have a calendar, okay? I set a certain time in here that I'm going to work my business. If I make the commitment, the 90-day run, guess what? The 90-day run, my family knows that I'm committed to the 90-day run for them and for our business and for our team, okay? So my family is a part of this 90-day run, and they had made the commitment with me that for 90 days, I'm working this business 16 hours a day, all day long. I'm running hard through 90 days, and guess what? After 90 days, there's a vacation plan for our family. After the 90 days, I'm not doing 16-hour days anymore. I've put my business into momentum mode to take me through the rest of the year, you know, but re in reality is during the 90-day run, you got to get the agreement with your family that you can run because there's not going to be a lot of balance time. There's not going to be a lot of going out to dinner, going to the movies, going to the amusement parks. Not going to be a lot of cuddling time doing these little things. It's like you're doing this for them and they're rooting you on the whole time, guys. Okay, so check it out. But when I'm not doing the 90-day run, okay, for the other three quarters of the year, I'm still building my business. I still have a, I put my, my hours in every day in my business. I put my hours into my business, prospecting, following up, going and sharing product, doing my social media stuff, and then I put my, my, I have my time with my family. I have my days that are all family, right? But I make sure it's balanced, you know? And that's what it's about, um, is just being balanced. You know, I make sure my kids know I love them. When I'm doing my business, I get them involved in everything I'm doing. They know what daddy's doing. They know what daddy's working hard for. They know about all the people on my team, you know, and, and all those things. So it's, it's easy to, it's easy, really easy to find balance uh, with, with a, with a home-based business because guess what? Usually you're at home. And that's what it's about. My kids are around here. My, 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 you know, my little girls are crawling all over me when I'm doing this stuff. When I'm, when, I'm, when I'm working on my computer, they're all here. They get to see daddy at home rather than me at the office all day. So that's what it's about. But um, this is probably the only business you can find, a home-based business, where you actually see your family more than if you were in the office you know, someday. And for a lot of you guys that are out there um, in the office and you guys are working all day, you should fight harder at home on your home-based business to get home with your kids, to be at home with your husband and wife, to be able to, to, to share these times with them. Because guess what? Like Renita said, they are watching you, okay? And if they watch how hard you work at a business from home, imagine what they're going to think. I'm going to be an entrepreneur. I can work for myself. I can accomplish my dreams. I can do this for my kids. I can do this for my family. Look at everything we have because of what he's doing here at home and how hard he's working. And when he travels, he's helping all those people. He's a servant-driven leader. Oh my gosh, man. Like He's not just helping himself. Look at these people. He's got Stefania and Dana, all these people. Man, he, he, you can love on people and still be successful. It's incredible, you know? So that, that's the balance part, you guys. Any other questions before I get off? Any other questions, guys? I know you guys have spent your, your Thursday here, maybe your lunch break, watching this, uh, watching this uh, video. But hey, what I hope you guys do is share the heck out of it. It's crazy. The people on, on the Facebook Live, they're calling me as I'm doing a Facebook Live. Like I, can answer, I can answer the phone. It's crazy. But anyways, check it out. But um, share this video with everybody you care about in the industry, everybody you want to know how to, how to approach people, what to say to people, because it's the biggest hurdle when building this business. If you can get this part down, those eight steps of an invitation, which takes you 30 seconds with a prospect, the rest is history. All you're doing now is leveraging the tools or leveraging the experts on your team. When I talk about leverage, I talk about leveraging those tools. Once you insert If I Would You, it already starts. And guess what? Once you follow up with them, find out what they like best and all those things, then you can share with them another tool. I'll do another Facebook Live for that. And then you can eventually utilize the experts on your team, 
You don't bring in a member of your upline or a successful people team member on your team to do all the heavy lifting for you. You do all that stuff yourself through the invitation, through letting them see the business first. Then when you get your, your, the expert involved or your upline involved, make sure that they've already seen the business. Now all the uplines there is for is to edify you while you edify them, edify the business, answer questions, let them know the support they have when they're part of the team. They're going to see it there when you're, when you're, when you're, you're, you're able to use the, the, the experts on your team and let them get excited that, man, there are more people here than just her or him that can help us. And then you just hand it back over to the, to the, uh, the, the expert hands it back over to you with your prospect to sign them up. It's as simple as that, okay? But the experts should only be used to maybe do, show the webinars, do the meetings, do a three-way call or a two-on-one or something like that after the prospect has already been through a series of exposures and they still have questions. Most of the time, you don't ever need an expert because the tools do enough talking for them. Now you can just simply ask them to make a decision. What's it going to be? A customer, a client, or, a, or, or building a business with us? It's so simple, okay? Guys, so I hope wish, wish you guys a, an exciting Thursday. I don't think I saw any questions rolling up on the screen anymore. Hope you guys have an exciting Thursday. Rewatch this video. Go to the90dayrun.com. Download the scripts and start using them, guys. Start practicing them because I want to hear what you're, uh, about you guys growing over the next 90 days. I want to hear about your successes and I want to see what, what's, what's going on. Of course, leave it to Chaz Park to ask a goof, goofy question. That's Chaz. This is the guy I told you guys to pay attention to, right? 90 days. Let's see if he works or if he just... Goofs around, man. But Chaz, I believe in you, man. So let's do something here. Second time I've called you out on these Facebook Lives. So let's see what you're doing. What kind of hair gel do I use? That is funny, man. But if you really want to know, it's Hans DeFuco Gravity Paste. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you all. Mwah.